It was originally developed because you know a lot of people have chronic migraine and it wasn't being diagnosed and you know people are going on and maybe going to their primary care doctors, primary care doctors don't really know what to do, maybe even sending them to a neurologist, and sometimes they don't know what to do either. So this is a quick, easy tool that can diagnostically screen for chronic migraines so you can more quickly, more efficiently be able to send a patient that needs to be seen by a headache specialist to a headache specialist. It's self-administered. So you can go to, let's say, your primary care office, a, a neurologist's office, and if you tell them they have, you have headaches, they can just give you this, it's a piece of paper that you could take. So it's 12 questions, um, and so it's broken down into different sections. So frequency, you know, how frequent are your headaches? A couple questions about that. Symptoms, what are the associated symptoms you have with your headaches? And then how it affects your life? You know, asking first, how much medication are you taking? Are you taking over-the-counter medications? Are you taking prescription medications? And how disabling is this? Is this affecting your planning? Is this affecting the things your day-to-day -day living? So it was originally done um, just via phone screening. So you know when this, this, the ID chronic migraine was first developed, um, people, physicians would do phone screeners, call patients, and then based on our phone diagnosis, we'd be able to say, okay, this person has chronic migraine or this person doesn't have chronic migraine. So what was missing with that though is a face-to-face -face interview because a lot of things change when you're face-to-face -face with a patient. So that's what we wanted to do at Stanford, is add that component. So we didn't use the ID chronic migraine itself because we didn't have that, but we did have the questions from it. So what we did is we took those questions, we were able to use them in a tool, in an iPad tool, where patients could just kind of log on there and take the questionnaire and then they'd see me or they'd see one of the other two headache specialists um, that were also working with me on this and then we'd be able to better, we'd be able to give a clinical diagnosis based on our one hour interview with the patient as opposed to just you know a five to ten minute phone conversation. So we did see that you know People, there are a lot of people out there with chronic migraine, but you know it's still being underdiagnosed and undertreated. And a lot of people aren't necessarily on the chronic migraine questionnaire. They're maybe saying, you know, I am disabled, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna necessarily state that. But when you ask them, yeah, you know, I'm not making plans. I'm not doing the things I used to do. And so that was a little bit of the discrepancy that we're finding. So with a little bit of fine tuning, it can really pick out these things and really be able to identify chronic migraine even more efficiently. I think this is a really great tool that's out there and that should be used by all physicians. And when in doubt, patients should be sent to a headache specialist so they can very quickly and very efficiently be diagnosed and be treated for chronic migraine.